Hi everyone, in today's video I will show you how to mock external APIs in Java using Wiremock. So let's get started. REST or SOAP APIs can be tested using Mockito, which is great for unit testing and mocking dependencies with your code base. However, Wiremock, a popular open source tool for API mock testing, is better suited for testing interactions with external APIs, providing more realistic and controlled testing environment. There are several ways how to use Wiremock. You can integrate it in your Maven project by adding this dependency, or you can run it as a standalone application, or even creating a Docker image. So in our demo, we will illustrate the use of Wiremock with a Maven project. So I created this Maven project and I defined this DTO class user. It has a constructor that accepts JSON format. And here is our service class to retrieve user from a remote API. And this is the method get user by ID. So I am using Apache HTTP client class. This is a bad practice because our service class is tightly coupled with a specific implementation. But the purpose of this demo is to show the benefit of using wire mock. Using Mockito, we can test this service. I prepared this unit test. And as you see here, here the test for the happy pads, extracting the data. And I am mocking the internal objects of the Apache library. So this is first not optimal. So we are not really testing a network interaction with the remote service. We are just mocking the internal implementation of this provider. So if in the future you decide to use, for example, REST template or web client from Spring Boot, so you would need to change or rewrite your test. So this is bad. And now let me show you how to integrate Wiremock in the pub file. All you need to do is to add this dependency. And I prepared the unit test for that. And as you see, it is pretty simple. This is the suit and all you need to do is to define where mock server this is provided from the added dependency. And in this setup, we can create an instance of this class uh, without parameters. Uh, the port will be generated randomly. You can also specify the port here and you start servers. Once you do that, so you have a server listening on this randomly generated port. And here, like Mock, you can put here your real URL and the port. So the port is inferred from this class. And here, this is my stab. So whenever this, for example, is called user with ID equal to one, you should do this response with status 200. So this is the happy path and this is the header and you can define the body as well. It is also possible to add authentication to your mock server. So either basic authentication or even authentication based on token. So this, as you see in this example, and here I'm instantiating the user service, the object that we want to test. So this happens in the setup function. And this is my method get user by ID and this will be returned as defined here. So after that, you can stop the server. So let's run this and see. And as you see, it is green. If we change that to two, for example, and run again, then the test will fail as expected. One more thing, you can also define your test as JSON file. You can define or specify JSON file and put all your definition. So request and you can add other cases and so on. And to use this file, you need to load it it's like this. So here you can use this method load mappings and you specify the file from the resources. So this was a demo how to use a wire mock powerful tool to test PIs, REST or SOAP. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and bye.